out of the fog. These were the scenes at Toronto FC training Sunday morning, but the mission remains crystal clear. MLS Cup final next Saturday at BMO Field. This is a special playoff edition of Toronto FC HQ presented by Kia. I had to take off my glasses this morning trying to make my way up to the Kia training ground, battling these bizarre December conditions that are quintessentially Torontonian. Victor Vasquez, this was something completely new for the Spaniard, has never had to deal with conditions like this before, but still said that Toronto FC went through what was a positive training session. Now, Vasquez is going to be a central figure in the build-up to MLS Cup Final 2017. Of course, he set up Josie Altidore's winner against the Columbus crew that sent them to back-to-back -back finals, a player who's been so critical for this team all season long. Now, it's no coincidence, it's nothing strange that Vasquez thrives in a more open game scenario, and in two matchups thus far against the Red Bulls and the crew, things have been cagey, very defensive, and a more open game suits Vasquez's style of play play much more and he's hoping that come next Saturday that the game really plays to his strengths. When they are more, more open for us it's better you know because we have the quality in front and also with the wing, wing backs like Jemo, like Nick Orbeira we, we can open the game. We will see how they come you never know maybe they fall back all of them like last season because I when I was the video they were really behind you know they were waiting I hope this is this year no but we will see what they do and then we can we can adjust the system or our 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 things there is a Spanish connection between the two sides of course Victor Vasquez grew up in the Barcelona Academy so did Victor Rodriguez, a very talented attacking player for the Sounders who joined Seattle partway through the year. Now he scored the opening goal of the second leg in Seattle against the Dynamo, which really sealed things for the Sounders to get back to MLS Cup Final 2017. Vasquez likes what he sees in the Spanish playmaker for Seattle. And he's a good player, you know, he's a good technique, his speed, he's small, you know, this kind of player like Seba, you know, it's difficult to, to catch him and we will try to, to manage as good as possible. I wish him all the best, but I hope we can take it. Vasquez made a clear Sunday that all the waiting, the extended run over the course of these playoffs has taken its toll. It's not easy to deal with and he'd prefer if Toronto FC and the MLS playoffs play more midweek than weekend games. Nonetheless, there are similarities between now and his time playing in the Belgian League where he won a Belgian Cup. It's the fact that the environment and the knowledge of the support is very much the same and he's looking at for that to be a factor come Saturday. It's people that they really believe in us, they are always supporting us, even if if we lose, they are always behind and it's really nice to have this, this atmosphere on the pitch and I think on the final it's gonna be huge, you know, for us it's gonna be amazing for them also. They know that we get another chance and if we got it this season it's gonna be amazing for everyone because last season, like I said, the, it, it was really sad for them and even for me because now I'm, I'm here and I want to, to win this cup. We're all expecting goals come Saturday, but if it ends in the same way that it did last year, going to penalties, this will be a new experience for Vasquez as he's never taken part in a like penalty shootout as such. Of course, he will be a penalty taker so reliable from the spot despite missing against the crew last time out. Vasquez is going to be a central figure and is really the missing link for Toronto FC. His ability to break down a back line and a stubborn one at that is going to really really play into Toronto FC's favor for this year's MLS Cup Final. It all goes down next Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch on TSN Listen on Sportsnet, the Fan 590.